Snopes is a, uh, it might be pronounced Snoops, I'm not exactly sure. It's a uh, liberal webpage run by a bunch of liberal goats or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, they put a story out talking about this guy named James Statuayaka. I can't pronounce his damn name. I have a tough time <coughs> pronouncing his name. You know, he's a patriot just like me. His name is James J. Statuak or Stat Statuayaka or whatever. Well, anyway, Snopes did a story on this guy. Saying he was, you know, threatening to kill liberals and shit like that. Which, you can't trust these liberal pages. They like to fucking blow the story up all the time. But I'm going to give my side of the story. I'm well aware of who this guy is. James J. Statuak or whatever. I've seen him on Facebook, Instagram. I think I've seen him on YouTube. I'm not sure if he's on Twitter. But anyway... He's a patriot, just like me. He lives in Georgia, around the Atlanta area. Not, a, not Augusta or Austin or... I don't know, whatever. But anyway... Anyway, he's been going around doing a lot of... Some shit. Saying some shit. Taking it far beyond what I would take it. You know? I mean, you think that I've taken it beyond... You haven't seen this guy. This guy... I'm not exactly sure when I title this video, but anyway, I mean, he makes a lot of good points. James Tatsuak, Tatsuak, whatever his name is. He makes a lot of good points, and I agree with a lot of what he's saying. This last video, he makes a lot of videos on Facebook, just like Josh Furstein. Anyway, he makes a lot of videos on Facebook. His last video, you know, he's talking about Michael Savage that, you know, went to San Francisco, got beat up by liberals. I'm still looking into that story to get the full facts. Snopes put out a story saying that they, you know, he blew it out of proportion, that he didn't get all bloodied or whatever. James Statuak, Statuak, whatever, he made a video, and basically in the video, he was, uh, he pulled out a gun and said, any liberals that try to attack me, I'm gonna shoot them. Snopes did a story Blowing, the, blowing it up saying, yeah, he threatened to massacre liberals. Bullshit. Don't get me wrong. I, my honest opinion on the guy, I think the guy is kind of a nut. I mean, yeah, he's a Donald Trump supporter. So am I. We have a lot of liberal, uh, uh, conservative views together. We both believe in the same thing, you know, the Second Amendment, and, you know. A lot of, we have a lot of same, same similar similarity of uh, views. I like the guy, but I don't like what he's doing. I don't like a lot of what he's doing on Facebook and on video. He's taking things a little far, stretching it, I think, a little bit. And if James see this, I don't mean any harm done to the guy. I'm just trying to, what's the word they use? Uh, I'm trying to think of that word they use. Damn it, what the fuck is it? Positive criticism? Or, uh... Whatever. I worked at a fast food joint, like, years ago, and they used that word. I can't think of the damn word. Criticism, but positive criticism, or, uh... Constructive criticism. That's what I want to say. That's the word. Constructive criticism. So, if James see this... I don't mean any. I don't mean any bad things to it to him. I don't mean to criticize the guy. I'm just trying to constructively criticize him in a constructive matter. That I don't like everything he's saying on video. I don't like everything he's doing. He's making conservatives look bad. I like his views. I like a lot what he says. I agree with a lot what he says. But he needs to turn the knots down a little bit because he's making conservatives look bad. Because liberals are going to see this and they're going to think that all conservatives are this crazy. And they're not. I just think he needs to turn the knots down a little, okay? James, you need to turn the knots down a little bit, okay? And I'm trying to give you constructive criticism. I like what you're saying. 
but there's certain things that aren't meant to be on social media. I like what you're saying. I don't like everything you're saying. I'm saying I like there's certain things that you just have to keep inside your brain, you know, and keep it off a of video because people are going to think you're a nut and it's a good way to get the FBI at your doorstep. I've said some off-color things. I've kind of watched myself. I've kind of cleaned my act up over the last couple of years. Basically, he's been going on about Mark Kessler. Mark Kessler, I don't know, some fake patriot out there that poses as a patriot at rallies or whatever. But he's an undercover goat in the goat army. I don't know exactly who this Mark Kessler guy is. I've had problems with the fake Mark Kessler page on Facebook harassing me. I've had to report it and shut it down and block it, whatever. I think I did get it shut down. I don't know, whatever. Basically, you know, I don't agree with everything this fucking guy does. I mean, the fucking guy, it was a couple of months ago, he walked inside of, you know, I'm against the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, that terrorist organization. I'm not talking about black lives, I'm talking about Black Lives Matter. You know, the looting, the rioting, the destruction. We're on the same page there. But anyway, a couple of months ago, a few months ago, he went inside of a, a Golden Corral restaurant in Georgia. Which, the restaurant itself was predominantly... It was on a Sunday, which is a family day. Jesus said, you know, he took six days. You know, it took God six days to make the earth on the seventh day he rested. Sunday is the Sabbath day. I believe in keeping Sunday the, you know, the holy day, the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. Don't work on Sunday. Sunday is a family day. On a Sunday, he goes inside of a Golden Corral in Georgia, predominantly African American customers, family, children around, with the with the T-shirt that says "Fuck Black Lives Matter." It didn't say "fuck." It said it had a a hand with the middle finger and it said Black Lives Matter and the restaurant told him hey you gotta change your shirt or you gotta leave and he had a fucking little hissy fit about it I mean it's just dumb shit that he does like that you know I think the guy's going senile I don't know how old he is 50s, 60s, whatever but come on man protest one thing you know you know, freedom of speech on social media is one thing, you know. Being an outright idiot is another thing. And I don't mean to criticize James too hard. Too hard. I don't want to be too hard on the guy. I'm just saying constructive criticism, you know. I think he just needs to tone it down, down a notch. You don't go inside of a restaurant with a... Forget the Black Lives Matter. He went inside of a fucking restaurant with a t-shirt with the middle finger up. Okay, regardless of what the damn t-shirt said, he went inside of a fucking restaurant, predominantly black, with children around, with a middle finger sticking up. I mean, it doesn't matter if the restaurant was predominantly black or not. He went inside of a restaurant with children on a Sunday, family day, with the middle finger on it. I have a t-shirt in my stash. stash. It's a Donald, it's a pro Donald Trump t-shirt. And the t-shirt says, grab them by the pussy, Donald Trump 2016. That's a t-shirt I would wear around the house, you know, go go on a hunting trip or vacation or, or up north around the campfire. That's not a t-shirt I would wear in a family restaurant on a Sunday. You have to, you know, think with your brain here a little bit, you know. So James Statuach, whatever, how you pronounce your name. No hard feelings, bro. Turn the knots down a little bit, okay? That's all I'm asking. 